Hey guys, welcome to Data Track, your one stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will go through recommender systems. What are the properties of a good recommender system and what are the biases it suffers from and how uh, some of the clever tips and tricks are used to debias them of these biases so that the performance of recommender systems improves. So let's dive deep into it. This is one of the blog, beautiful blog I have found on recommender system. We will go through it. Uh, and also what I have done, I have highlighted some of the important parts of uh, the blog and also added few more information which will help me explain the concepts better. So let's get started. So the blog starts in this way, it talks about recommender systems. Recommender systems have become ubiquitous, they are present everywhere from online shopping app to social media app to entertainment platforms. And what they do, they analyze the historical user engagement to make recommendations which are more catered to users preferences and behavior. While these recommender systems are incredibly useful in discovering new content or products, they are often plagued by some of the biases and lot of research is going on to buy to debias them and improve the user experience. Before going to some of the top biases, let's also look at some of the properties of good recommender system. A good recommender system should have these properties where the first one is relevance. The recommendation should be relevant to the user. Second is accurate. Accurate in the sense that there should be minimum false positives and false negatives. False positive means items the user is not interested in, not so them and items user would be interested in but not recommended. So false positive and false negative should be minimum and it should be highly accurate. Third is diversity. The diversity basically means the user should be exposed to more number of items, more number of diverse items. It should not happen that the user is uh, limited to a bubble of items or a bubble of categories. Third or fourth is exploration and exploitation, which basically means that a recommender system should strike the balance between exploration and exploitation from the knowledge of what user is interested in the items and categories. We should show more interesting content around it, but also occasionally explore new categories, new items so that the user taste can be diversified and we can also learn what are some other preferences of the user. Next is adaptability. Adaptability says that the recommender system should adapt to the changing user preferences and behavior. The user changes his preferences behavior over time and the system should uh, learn it, adapt to it. And also a good recommender system should have cold start handling. handling. That is cold start basically means uh, new set of users or new sets of items. The system should be able to provide reasonable recommendation for new user and completely new items with limited historical data. And the last one is fairness and bias mitigation. The system should be fair towards uh, different races, gender and other protected attributes. These are some of the uh, uh, protected attributes but there are other major biases also that recommender system suffers from and that are the main uh, topics that we will discuss today what are some other biases that the recommender system suffers from so basically a good recommender system should be relevant accurate diverse it should strike the balance between exploration and exploitation well it should adapt to users changing behavior it should uh, have that cold start basically with limited data able to recommend uh, new users and new items and it should be fair towards protected attributes and also it should be fair that it should be able to debias some other major biases that recommender system suffers from and what are these major biases which we will look at now. So the blog talks about five most prevalent biases and what are the clever tips and tricks companies like Google, YouTube, Netflix, Quashoy and others have used to uh, debias or reduce the bias. The first one is clickbait. Clickbait basically means uh, there are misleading headline or video thumbnail designed to grab user attention or make them click. For example, the headline could be you won't believe what happened next or something like Did, do you think I survived something like that which are more clickbait. If we train a ranking model on just clicks as positive level the what will happen the model will get biased towards clickbait because these clickbait items or clickbait headlines will also have positive interactions so covington in 2016 with his paper suggested for the youtube video recommendation that instead of using just click as the positive signal uh, they used weighted logistic regression where weights are the 
वॉच टाइम फॉर पॉजिटिव ट्रेनिंग एग्जाम्पल्स एंड यूनिटी फॉर द नेगेटिव ट्रेनिंग सो बेसिकली दे आर ट्रेनिंग फॉर द सी टी आर मॉडल विच इज क्लिक थ्रू रेट प्रिडिक्शन वेदर द यूजर विल क्लिक और नॉट बट इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग ऑल सैम्पल एज ऑफ इक्वल वेट वट दे हैव डन द पॉजिटिव सैम्पल्स दे हैव वेटेड इड बाई द वॉच टाइम एंड नेगेटिव सैम्पल्स विथ वेट ऑफ वन आई इफ यू डोंट गिव एनी वेट्स द वेट इज कॉन्स्टेंट विच इज वन फॉर ऑल द ट्रेनिंग सैम्पल्स बट वट दे रीड दे वेटेड इड विद द वॉच टाइम सो दैट द वीडियोज विच वेर क्लिकड एंड वॉच लॉन्गर गेट हायर वेट इज कंपेयर टू वीडियोज विच वेर क्लिक बेट विच जस्ट गॉट क्लिक बट यूजर डिंट वॉच इट मच सो दिस इज हाउ दे डी बाय द क्लिक बेट बट एज विद द वेटेज लॉजिस्टिक रिलेशन मे सॉल्व क्लिक बेट बट इट इंट्रोड्यूस इज ए न्यू प्रॉब्लम विच इज द सेकेंड बायस विच इज द ड्यूरेशन बायस सो वट विल हैपन द लॉन्गर वीडियोज विल हैव टेंडेंसी टू बी वॉस्ड फॉर लॉन्गर simply because they are longer right so what will happen they will mostly get higher weightage and the recommender system will more and more recommend the higher uh, or longer duration videos to solve this problem the kuasoi company they uh, published a paper and what they did was the basic idea they did uh, quantile based watch time prediction they bucketized all video into duration quantile and then solved it so what they did was they divided the video total duration into x quantile let's say the video was of 120 minutes then dividing it into x let's say x is equal to 10 then 12 12 minutes quantiles and in training they uh, trained on what which till which quantile till which bin the user was did for example the video was of 120 minute and let's say the video wo- uh, the user was till only half of it then the quantile will be uh, fifth quantile right so in that way they just predicted the watch quantile first they debias the duration using by dividing videos into bins and till which bin or which quantile the user watched it so they predicted the watch quantile in this way they solved it the model understands that 10 seconds is high in one of the bins but uh, low in other so in this way they solved it they Uh, divided the duration into bins and uh, predicted till which uh, uh, watch quantile the user will uh, watch it so so they predicted the watch quantile and the uh, at inference time simply ranking all videos by their predicted watch time which is the predicted uh, watch quantile deconfounded the video duration so it helped them improve total watch time by 0.5 percentage compared to weighted logistic duration the previous uh, one which didn't convert in, in converted uh, video duration into bins and just weighted based on uh, watch time and uh, for an e-commerce type of setup where uh, where the items are e-commerce products and those are not videos what can be done is instead of just ranking by ctr they can be ranked by ctr and cvr which is click through rate and conversion what is the ctr basically means click probability given view and cvr means order probability given uh, the item was clicked so in this way using both ctr and cvr we can reduce the uh, click bait bias uh, so that it doesn't happen that some of the items which have very good pictures but actually the item is not good uh the model recommends but the model will start recommending both based on its click probability as well as its converting probability in that way the click uh, bait can be reduced for an e-commerce setup and uh, so till now we have seen the click bait bias and duration bias which is mostly for uh social media apps which have videos in it how can the click probability bettered with the watch time either by uh giving sample the positive samples weights based on the watch time or dividing the video into uh, duration bins and predicting till which watch quantile the user will watch and uh, recommending the items based on their watch quantile which will bring uniformity uh, which will bring uniformity across videos of different duration because we have normalized it uh Uh, basis of equal number of bins the third type of bias is poison bias which means a higher ranked items or higher poisoned items get more engagement more interactions not because they are best for user but just because they are shown at a higher poison and users starts to blindly trust the ranking and what we want is we want to predict the user want what user want that is what we want to predict and not 
user to want what we predicted not user to want what we showed him but actually what user wants so there is a position bias whatever comes at the higher position irrespective of whether it's actually good for the user or not it so it sees more interaction because of the position and uh, uh, position bias will always make the model look better on paper so basically if the data in which you are training your model has position bias and the model has not been debiased for it in the validation set also you will see better performance for uh, your prediction which uh, which because the validation set is also biased with position so it will actually look model better on the paper means on the validation set as well but slowly the performance will degrade and uh, that's the reason in recommender system we should not just look at the ml model accuracy metrics but also long term metrics like user retention and diversity of recommendations and uh, how to solve for position bias the author has a separate post for it i have summarized the pointers from that uh, post so basically what uh, the author has suggested is there are three type of techniques with which position bias can be corrected the first one is inverse propensity weighting the core idea of ipw is to adjust the likelihood or propensity of being in a particular treatment group so basically the high position or top ranked items have higher propensity uh, to being viewed or to be treated so whenever there is high propensity of being in the treatment group give it a weight inverse of its propensity so basically lesser weight to the higher ranked items and more weight to the lower uh, weight items if both have positive interaction so high position or ranked items have a higher propensity of being viewed or treated hence a click on the first ranked item with high position bias is probably less informative than a click on 10th ranked item with low position bias uh so the idea is simple uh, the higher position items have more propensity to appear and give them lower weight and lower propen lower position items have lesser chance or lesser propensity to be treated but if they give get a positive interaction or positive click that should be given a higher weight in this way the sample weights during the training should be tweaked so that the model is uh, uh debiased from position bias so the second one is a better technique which is randomized control experiment it suggests that a small subset of users or a small subset of serving population simply rank the items randomly and then use that data for model training this data is not just unbiased or position biased but also many other confounders or other type of biases which may exist if we train a model just on this data it's free of many types of biases definitely there is a risk that for a set of users or a set of a small set of population we are uh, affecting their relevance because we are randomly ranking the items but it is allowing us or helping us to create a large scale debias recommendation system so first one is inverse propensity weighting second is randomized control experiment uh, and the third one is position rank as a feature so the idea is even simpler in position rank as a feature this uh, the paper says uh, it, it was a google paper the paper says the idea is to simply add the rank or position of the uh item where it was shown in the recommendation system uh, or the recommended list for the user uh, as another feature while training the model and set that feature's value to minus 1 at inference time so actual position what where it appeared in the rank list for the user and during the inference time when we have to rank items just use a default value of minus 1 the intuition is that by simply providing all the information to the model up front it will learn both engagement and position bias implicitly under the hood so whatever be the position bias apart from that what is the engagement probability that it will learn so pro providing it as a feature also debias the position bias so inverse propensity weighing random control experiments and position rank as a feature these are three techniques in which people usually debias the position bias coming back we have seen uh, the first three let's let's look at the fourth bias which is the popularity bias popularity bias basically means a higher ranking two item that are more popular overall because they have been rated by more number of users or they have been bought more uh, is there so more popular items more high ranked than more interacted items tends to appear in the feed of all the users because and this is called popularity bias and why popularity bias because in reality it might be possible that some other less popular item 
was more relevant for a particular user but because of the popularity bias of some popular item it appeared and this can lead to distorted ranking less diverse ranking uh, less diverse as in we are uh, restricted to a bubble of items just because they are more popular so this happens so uh, 2019 paper from google proposed a simple but effective algorithm to debias the position bias and what it did was it did something like this it replaced the logit in the logistic regression layer uh, with this formula that logit of uv is not just logit of uv it is minus log of pv so something something they did let's first understand the intuition and then we'll come back to what they did so this is what i have added let's assume puv is the personalized conversion probability of user u for item v that how much is the conversion probability for user u for item v and pv is just the generic popularity that is what is the platform conversion probability of item v across all the users kind of popularity of the item right now if we take the ratio of puv by pv what does it mean it means that if we rank based on this ratio recommend item v to user u if the conversion probability is much higher than the average platform conversion probability or we can also look at it in another way that or recommended item v to user u if the items propensity for the user is much more than the items average popularity across the platform right let's see an example if puv was 0.6 that is users converting probability is 60 percent and on an average 50 percent of the platform users convert then we take the ratio it comes 1.2 so the propensity of users towards this item is just 20 percent higher than the average conversion of this item in the platform whilst for some other item even though its uh, personalized probability is less but if you see compared to its uh, overall popularity or overall non-personalized conversion in the platform its relevance to the user is much more so in that way so basically we are saying recommend a popular item only if the user propensity for it is much higher than its average platform conversion and they have seen that doing this they uh, were able to better their uh, recommendation system and they found some 0.37 percent improvement and instead of taking the ratio of probabilities they have done they have not taken the ratio of probabilities but a similar idea they have used they have replaced the logit of the logistic regression so basically um, sigmoid is applied on log of odds right so they have done changes in the logit layer itself but the idea remains the same that see the user's propensity towards that item and is it too much higher than the average conversion of that pro uh, product in the platform then only recommend the item and it's important that the probabilities are calibrated to apply this kind of concepts next is and the last bias that the blocks talks about is single interest bias which basically talks about diversity so uh, they have given the example that one of the user they mostly watch drama movies but once in a while they also watch comedy movie so the user has multiple interests but more oriented towards drama movie but also sometimes watch comedy movie but if we see the recommendation they are over emphasizing only on drama movies this is called single interest bias where the failure of the model is to understand that user inherently has multiple interests and preferences though it may be oriented more towards one of the category but there is multiple interest and preferences and in order to remove the single interest bias they did a simple technique which is they calibrated the model calibration means if uh, the conversion probability is 0.8 for a bunch of users then uh, 80 out of 100 users if 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 let's say uh, for 100 users the probability of conversion is around 0.8 means 80 out of 100 users should actually convert right so here they said that when they did calibration with calibration what happened if user watches drama movie 80 percent of the time then models out of top 100 recommendations only 80 should be drama movie not all 100 and with just this calibration they were able to see this improvement and they use plat scaling for calibration i have a video on calibration i will add that also in the description section where i've talked about plat scaling isotonic regression and all and one more thing calibration is a process where the probabilities still remains monotonically increasing so uh, i believe what they would have done is they would be, have been combining multiple probabilities and when each of the individual probabilities were calibrated they would have seen the uh, 
behavior where, where that combined rank score is representative of the true interest or orientation of the user and as a result of which uh, the, uh, the recommender system was able to learn the multiple interest and preference of the user. So to ensure that the user multiple interest is captured in the uh, recommendation system as well, the recommended list also where depending on his orientation that much percentage of the movies belong to that category and some uh, other percentage depends to other category that is possible if the models are calibrated and that rank score is used. And uh, this was a Netflix paper where they have quantified with KL divergence score that after calibration their probabilities became better and in fact the overall recommendation become more diverse. So uh, just a recap of it, uh, there, uh, the, the blog talked about different biases, clickbait bias basically means model is favoring the clickbait content, duration bias means the model is favoring long videos. And position bias means that the model is favoring high ranked position which has to be debiased and popularity bias means model is uh, favoring few popular content and it's creating a bubble where this bunch of items are uh, occurring repeatedly. Single interest bias means the model is failing to learn multiple user interest at the same time and for single interest the calibration calibrated probabilities and using them in the final ranking score betters this single interest bias and helps a recommended system learn that multiple interest of the user so these are some of the innovative ways in which uh, these biases are alleviated and uh, that's it in this video hope you liked and enjoyed the content please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates bye